Hi, Sagittarius is with a weekly reading for the sign of Sagittarius. I'm connecting into Sagittarius. Anybody who has Sagittarius strongly in their chart, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus could uh, resonate with this message. But this, this story probably won't connect in with everyone, but hopefully there's something here that can help you along the way. Let's go ahead, Sagittarius, and dig right in. And dig right into this to the energy that we see here, starting off with the Ten of Pentacles. Beautiful way to begin the reading, Sag. Let's see what we have coming in. Now we have a tower here. All right. We certainly are alive. We certainly are alive. Uh, let's just continue here to pull the rest of these and see how this story unfolds. And now we have the Ten of Cups coming in. So the tower is illuminated by the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. How interesting, Sag. If you're going to do it, you might as well do it big, my friends. Might as well do it big. <laughs> Knight of Swords. I was going to say Knight of War. Knight of Swords. Knight of Swords. Knight of Swords. Knave of Cups, Page of Cups, Page of Cups coming in, Page of Cups coming in, oh jeez, Knight of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, Chariot Energy, gosh, Sag, let's see how you're, how you're embodying this, this energy by the two cards at the bottom here, Empress, beautiful, now that's your energy. That's who we see here. And then we have the Knave of Wands, Page of Wands. Okay, let me get this um, set up right so it doesn't bother me. I had to, I, I have a new um, camera. I just, I, I use just a basic um, streaming camera, um, but I don't have it quite right yet. I'm, I, um, but anyway, at least it's reliable and it's here. Um, and I had it on hand, so good to go. The other camera was just, anyway, I'm jabbering. Why am I jabbering, Sagittarius? Well, I'm in this Sagittarius energy. Um, <sighs> Sag, as you're moving into this week, you're in the Empress position. So you really are, uh, you, you really do have a pretty good understanding of where you're at. Uh, you have these four queens that have been embodied by you. So we have um, this uh, the Queen of Pentacles is here within you. The Queen of Cups is here within you. The Queen of Swords is here within you. The Queen of Wands is here within you. This is um, a, a power position, I would say, Sagittarius, as you're moving into the week to come. So you don't just become the Empress by being um, by being good at all of the Queens. You become the Empress because you've overcome the 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 constraints and the battles that those queens have been in, you have overcome those uh, essences and you have moved into a place um, of, of understanding of those things. So in many ways, whether you are um, going through chaos or not, chaos or not, you are claiming the right to this. You are claiming this as a mother. Mothers fight for their children. Mothers nourish their children. They are there to protect them. And whatever you're doing here, Sagittarius, in this week to come, it is in a protective position of that which you have brought into existence, whether that is a child that you have brought in, into life or whether that is a, a project that you have or a, or a business that you've started or, or something that you have created or you have had a hand in creating, you are in a position of protecting and nurturing that. Uh, and we, you have, we have you stepping into this week, Sagittarius, with the Ten of Pentacles. So there is something uh, important that you're connecting into, um, whether it's your future, whether it is your lifestyle, whether it is a type of income that you're looking to connect into, you are connecting into the Ten of Pentacles. You have felt it before, whether it was a feeling that you had, whether it was a reality that you had, you have connected to it before, or you are, or you are currently 
in that position. Now I'm feeling as I'm talking that the energy within me is changing, even as I'm talking. It's like taking my breath away as I'm talking. And um, in the room, there's like, a, I have Herman the cat here, and he's usually very calm when he's in here. Now he's like jumping around and causing chaos. I really feel like Sag, like what I'm experiencing right now is what you have and will be contemplating as you move into the week. Uh, management over chaos, management over devastation, management over that which is in chaos and out of control. You're still handling it. You're still managing it. You're still pulling through, Sag. But there is a fire burning around you. There is chaos here. There is a potential like feeling of a potential takedown. Right. That's what it feels like. Now, uh, Sag, what's here, though, is actually quite powerful. And if we really look at these cards and we recognize uh, the beauty that's here, that's being shown to us, we see the Ten of Pentacles, the Tower Energy, flanked by the Ten of Pentacles, and then the Knight of Swords. Over the top, we have the Page of Cups, the Knight of Pentacles over the Tower, the Knight of Pentacles over the Tower moving into the chariot, the chariot over the top of the Knight of Swords. So we're talking about some real success coming in for you, Sagittarius. You are in the embodying the space of the Empress. You can handle this. This is made for you, Sag. This is made for you. You can ride the fire. You can ride the, the flame and you can go along with it. You can ride the flow. You have the ability to stay calm and cool under this chaotic sort of situation that's around you. There is a tower here. Look how the Empress rides over the top of the Page of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles right smack dab, right smack dab into the fire. So whatever is going on here, there is a potential for risk or there is a potential for somebody to come at you or there's a potential for some something chaotic to happen. But you're in this position where you have um, ways, your ways and means of handling things, just like a mother does. She has her special ways. She has her insurance plans. She has these things here for her. So when she is moving into a time of chaos or moving to overcome some sort of devastation, she has tools and resources and ways of doing things um, that really help her move through that. And that's what we see, Sag. You're in a power position. You are embodying the great mother. There are there are ways of communication here. There are ways to control the situation that you have within you. There are ways to be kind and compassionate without giving of yourself overly much because there's something here that you're protecting, Sag. And we all know as a great mother, uh, what there's nothing more that can get you into the fighting position than something coming in and threatening that which you have brought into this world. Okay, so you have you are in a strong pos protective position and you could even be somewhat possessive here. All right, but there is a wily nature in the there is a wiliness to this. I'm just watching uh Herman and how he's acting right now. Herman the cat, how he's acting right now. He, there is a wiliness, craftiness energy here in this spread. And I think, Sagittarius, that that craftiness and that wiliness is within yourself. And that's how, in, in, in a very special, uniquely your own way, that's how you're really going to move through this. Because whatever this is, this tower that's, in, that's around you, there is a solution here. And that solution comes from within you. Your strength, your way of overcoming, your way of pushing through uh, is, is um, very uniquely your own. And because of that, you are able, I feel this week, to slide past the potential devastation um, that's here around you. And I think uh, that this is, in many ways, you're looking at <coughs> this catching in my throat. I can't hardly really talk. You're looking at the potential. This is just the potential. This is the power of looking into the future or looking at the situation and recognizing it has the potential to fall on its face. It has the potential. It doesn't mean that it is. It doesn't mean that it will. It doesn't even mean that it is likely. It just means that there's a potential. Well, there's always a potential for something like that. It's only a problem if we focus on that direness of that one potential. If we're going to go into the route of looking into the direness of this potential, then we have to be fair and look into the potential that is going to be a great success. 
If we're going to look into this potential, we have to look into this potential and we have to look into this potential if we're going to be really fair about it, right? So you have a really strong and balanced way of looking at the situation. I think Sagittarius, there probably is a situation here, probably is a problem here, but can you overcome it? Absolutely. Absolutely. You can overcome it. And you know that within yourself, you know that within yourself. So Sag, as you're moving into this week, you know who you are. You have something very uh, important that you're working at, that you're reviving yourself for, that you're throwing your focus and your love at, whether it's family, whether it's this work that you have, whether it is um, potential earnings in the future, whether it is some sort of lifestyle that you're looking to um, that you're looking to maintain, there's something here that you are really focused in on and you, and it is yours. It is yours. You have created it. You have connected into it. It is yours to care for. It's no one else's to care for. You are the mother. This is your job. This is your, this is yours. And I feel like there's something here that's a threat to that. I don't know what it is. It's going to be different for everyone, but it has to be in the planets or something, Sag, because this is, an, uh, this is like a, uh, a rogue element because everything else here is really strong, forward moving and positive. But there's this ca catastrophe element here that's like a part of it. And as you're moving into this week, I think that you do feel inspired to stay connected to the abundant nature to the possibility and to the likelihood that you will continue into success, that this potential, that this option of the tower is there to, in many ways, uh, inspire you, uh, push you forward, bring you to the edge of your seat. There's something about this that is ultimately have, has brought you to a, uh, a new aliveness, a new point of aliveness. Let's go into this tower. Let's, let's look at right into the eye. Let's look the, let's look into the eye of the storm, my friend, because I feel like this is a whirlwind that's going past you. It's not going, I feel like it's not going to hit you, but let's, let's look into the eye of the storm here into the tower and see um, what we can find in the, in the eye of the storm. We have the hermit coming. There's a Virgo connection. Virgos really don't like the tower. I mean, it's just really hard um, connecting in the hermit energy into the tower. Um, let's go ahead and see what else we can pull with this tower. What else can we pull out for this tower? Can you help us understand this tower? Let's understand this tower. King of Cups. One more. Power of three. <laughs> Power of three. Devil energy. There's a lot of fear here. I think that there's probably ego here. There's probably other people that have some sort of resistance to this. It does feel like a rogue element um, that's around you. I'm not sure what this is, um, but it, it is a potential. It is a potential pitfall. Um, but then again, the potential pitfalls are everywhere. If we want to find them, we can find them, right? It's just, there, there is some worry here. Um, you know, you could, you could have been through something quite difficult because we do have the devil here. So there is fear and there is worry. Um, but I feel like this devil energy is like a rogue element because your own energy, your own energy fields and the consciousness that is connecting into temper in, that is connecting into Sagittarius um, is, is all very positive and forward moving here. We have this tower looming and it's connected in with the devil. I do feel like it's connected into self-confidence. It's connected into some recent events that uh, has probably happened um, it, it looks like there has been some sort of a rejuvenation or a healing or, or something that is becoming, um, that is getting better. Um, it is connected to the King of Cups. So we have, Sa uh, so we have Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer type masculine energy here. We also have Capricorn energy here and the Hermit. So we have two earth signs here. We have Virgo who really does um, find structure and nurturing in 
um, making sure that the dots are that that the dots are all connected, all the T's are crossed, and everything's kind of put together. Virgo really does find a lot of security there. So, Sag, you might be working in in a situation that is full of upheaval or has thrown you a couple curveballs that um, has really kind of helped you to realize um, you're you're not fully safe in some way, right? There is some risk here. But also, Sag, I really feel like you have learned quite a bit and, had, uh, and have experienced quite a bit. And I think that you're ready to kind of move forward with this. Whether there's risk here or not, I think you realize that there is something here um, that is important for you to continue on. We have the Hermit, which connects into mastery of life. Uh, hermit can sometimes be like have a teacher quality within him. Uh, and so there could be something here that you're doing um, shining a light for others, being, being, maybe even re focusing in and lighting your own passion flame again and really understanding what happened and kind of moving forward. I think you've understood why this tower is here. Why is this risk here and why is this potential here? I think you understand why it's here. But with the King of Cups, it does signal that it, it is about the strength of the emotional being. The strength of the emotional being to um, set forward into the external environment. So out and around in the world around you, um, focusing on bringing healing and well-being to the relationships that we have, to the workplaces, um, to to how we feel about our homes and how we feel about our families. So there is a lot going on here with the tower. I really feel like it has to do with extended families. It has to do with groups of people. Uh, it has to do with bringing a, um, well-being and kindness and compassion and generosity into the worlds around us. Um, and right now in the worlds around us, we have a lot of fear. We have a lot of that devil energy coming to the surface everywhere around us where we're fearful and we there's a reason to it's almost like the universe is pulling out that uh that intensity out of everyone and i feel sad that this is affecting you um whatever this is there is a, there is fear here uh, there is desperation here um there is uh a, a differences in the way we you know people feel about things i just feel like this tower is is beyond you. I think it is still a risk and I think you're recognizing that it's a risk, but I think it's past you. I think it's beyond you. I think it's something in, in that has happened in, in the past. Um, and, and you're looking at it now saying, okay, I see you tower. I see you. I see you. Am I going to walk towards you? Am I going to be pulled towards your light? No, I'm not going to be pulled towards your light. I'm not going to be pulled into the, the, the sexiness of the flames. I'm not going to look at it. I'm going to be aware you're there. I know you're there, but I'm going to focus on the Ten of Cups and I'm going to focus on the Ten of Pentacles and what I can do to move forward in a stable, logical, reliable way. And I'm going to move forward into this future that I'm working towards. It's a very strong, strong and brave um, mentality, to, mentality to have, Sag. As you're moving through the beginning of this week, you do feel this um, rejuvenation. So if you're worried that you're going to have the strength to do it, if you're worried that you're going to have the motivation, I wouldn't worry about that, Sag. You're going to be a, in a place of freshness, in a place of new aliveness. You're going to have that love within you, um, that motivation within you to be able to move forward. And I do feel, Sag, there are people around you that are encouraging you, that are there to see you and, and to see you succeed and want you to succeed. There are, there are those messages. And I feel like you are connecting in with some of that some of that emotional goodness in the beginning part of this week and i think that helps you quite a bit to kind of push through the fear of whatever this tower is it's just looming there it's it's only looming there sag because around it are all of these beautiful forward moving positive um positive energies i think it, in some ways it could just be a fear tactic and you know what? We have a lot of fear tactics right now going off. I mean, you can find this tower looming around everything out in the world. It's just part of the energy right now, Sag, and it's connecting in with the consciousness that, that we have here. Um, Sag, 
as you're moving through this week, in the middle of the week, I think that you are going to start to see some real growth here, Sag. Stay strong. Give this another week. Give this another few weeks, Sag, because you're going to start to see some real strong improvements coming in. And I feel like this, these improvements that are going to be coming in for you, Sag, are going to be helping you to fully move into the place of abundance. So this is probably some increase in money coming in. Um, some sort of some sort of improvements to the home or improvements to the tools and resources around you there is a there is real movement and you know what excuse me and you, and you can feel you can hear that in the energy moving through me I, my body is fully alive doing this reading i am i have a sagittarius rising as well um now i this like some of these energies are not around me um you know, but I can still feel this energy just moving through me. I feel like this tower, it does have a very strange usefulness because it almost in a way is motivating you to do some very, uh, some, some, make some strong movements, Sagittarius, where you might have wanted to, uh, keep it at a certain pace and maybe logically it would be better to do it one way we better do this other way this tower here is kind of looming here in many ways it's kind of pushing you into action to to do something here um to set yourself up in in and in a way it's like a it's a helpful once you get past the uncomfortableness of, of seeing it as a possibility it it also helps spur you forward into doing something very gritty and strong so we do see some improvements coming in here sag and i think that it brings you such beautiful relief such beautiful relief um, that is coming in with the ten of cups so just give this a few days sag you you could probably be already feeling the tower we're we're a few days ahead of the of the new week you're probably already feeling this tower. You probably know exactly what it is. It's some kind of potential. It's a potential devastation. But if you're going to recognize that it's there, then you must recognize the potential success because that's how the pendulum is, right? And, I, and, and I'm back at the tower. It's just looming there. But look, at the middle of this week, you start to see some real improvements coming in. The Knight of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles is showing. And when the Knight of Pentacles shows over the top of the tower, connected to the Empress, moving into the Ten of Cups, whatever is happening here is enough to bring you into a real position of relief and bliss and happiness. And when the Knight of Pentacles brings in the bliss, you know it's something that's going to bring an ease to the greatest worry. It's going to help to put the fire out here on the tower. Right? It's going to help to put the fire out on the tower. And that brings such great relief. Look, the tower is still here. It's still standing. And there you are, right in the center of the beautiful door doorway with the Ten of Cups. Now, as you're moving through the last part of the week, you're in the Knave of Wands. You're in the Page of Wands. So you have a fresh, young energy. You're able to drop some of the seriousness that the Empress carries within her. You're able to drop some of that strength that you had in the beginning of the week and move into a, a much more playful light energy. You have this relief. You have this happiness. You have this bliss moment. And, and I think it brings, it allows you to drop some of this armor, drop, put away some of your weapons, right? Whatever you used your, to get through this period of time, you're able to relax and rest. And what comes through is this lighthearted, um, excitement and uh, electricity that's coming through you um, with this beautiful relief that you feel. And as you're moving through the end of the week, you have the chariot and the knight of swords. So you're off to the races, Sag. You're off to the races. And boy, do you love the energy of the knight of swords and the chariot. It's something so beautiful for you. It's in your natural wheelhouse, Sag. And so whatever you're doing here at the end of the week, you're in forward motion. You're in action. You're out there and about and getting things done in a beautiful way. You know that you're doing something big because you have the six. It's like you have the six of wands here with the six of swords, right? It's like you have your understanding, you have your plan, you have your actions and you're forward moving. Like there's, there's no question here what you're going to do. Whatever this Knight of Pentacles is, has brought to you, you are continuing in that way. You're continuing in that 
in that um, in the in the industriousness that brought that Knight of Pentacles, you're continuing in that way. Probably something that you're saying or doing um, with the Knight. It's connecting into the Knight of Swords, so it's probably some some sort of message that you're spreading or something that you're writing. It is a dissemination of information. It is moving forward to share that to um, be connected to that. It's something with um, connected to the connected into the mind. Connect now. Now we're having another energy change. So let's go in, um, Sag. Let's go ahead and move into the chariot and the knight of swords. In fact, I'm just going to start to clarify now. Well, I want to finish the reading, and I feel like this energy is all swirling up together. So let's go ahead and connect into this. These two cards right here. We're going to connect in. Let's understand the eight of pentacles. Oh man, there's so much potential here. Eight of pentacles. Nothing is distracting you. Those drama queens and the the conflict causers and the mayhem, um, the mayhem people, they are not really stepping into your zone. You're staying in your lane. You're not letting yourself be distracted. You're not letting yourself be compromised by anybody else's fear and anybody else's anxiety. It's not touching you. You have something that you're doing. I don't even feel such. It might not even be something that you can control at that this point you are moving forward with a lot of tenacity knowing that there is something here worth attaining there's something here that you have already attained like there, it's something that you have already attained and i just feel like there's yeah i don't want to go back here that tower started to pull me back in again let's continue to pull out a couple more cards here six of swords in reverse yeah you're letting those ties that control you um, the ties that bind us, the family ties, the soulmate ties, the um, the ties of the words that have controlled us since we were young. And those things are falling away now, falling away out of the consciousness, uh, moving forward with a lot of clarity now. Um, it, it is a dropping, it is a dropping of the family cloak that holds all the responsibilities and the obligations or the dropping of some sort of mantra that um, you once believed and once maybe pushed you down into some sort of mindset that kept you in a certain place. Whatever it is, you're dropping the mantra, you're dropping the dogma, you're dropping the ties that bind and you're just moving forward here. Um, it's very interesting. Six of Swords in reverse. There could be an element here of... Um, you know, when, when the six of swords, the, when the six of cups is in, re, in, in reverse, there is something not quite right here connected in with the family or the family structure or the family culture or the family legacy. There's something not quite right, but that's dropping away. Um, that's, that's something that's dropping away. It might have to be fixed later, you know? It might have to be fixed later. Seven of Swords. Well, I mean, I it just feels like there is an element of control here. Some sort of control here connected in with the Six of Cups. The control of other people. The desires of other people. The influences of, of other people. And these people are connected strongly to us in one way or another. Either they are from our family or they're, they're from, they're, they're somebody that we, you know, that we love as a soulmate or uh, maybe connected to a certain community or a certain religion. There is something here that is being put to the side. It's being put to the side. And then we have the seven of swords. I feel like there was some sort of conflict with this. Um, something was taken. I just feel like something is being taken and there, you know, as you're moving forward, you're you're doing this in a way where um, these kind of outside influences, which I believe is connecting into this tower, no longer hold any kind of control over you. Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords. Let's go into the Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords. Eight of Wands. No more delays. Delays bringing in obstacles. Two of Cups. You know, um, those that we love can help us so much. They can inspire us. They can support us. They can encourage us. 
but they can also hold us back. They can influence us, influence us in negative ways. They can bring their own fears into our lives. You know, that's the complexity of the human condition. We can help each other and hurt each other all at the same time sometimes. And I feel like there's just something like that here for you. Um, nevertheless, you are moving forward this throughout the week and, and even through the end of, of this of this time period, Sag. Let's go into the Knight of Swords. Tell us more about this Knight of Swords, please. Tell us more about this Knight of Swords, please. Tell us more about it. Sun. Damn. It's the golden ticket. It's the golden ticket. And you know what they say about the naysayers. Once that golden ticket starts to show up, those negative voices start to disappear. And then you realize why the tower was there. That's what the devil does. Fear. Undermining, demeaning, diminishing. Um, yeah, the sun. <laughs> I don't know how better I can do. And I, I'm just like almost at a loss for words. Healing. Strength, revival, healing, King of Cups. Healing, strength, revival, overcoming, success, ambition, empowerment, winning. This is how you win the game, is by overcoming the odds. And the odds are not easy. <laughs> but I don't even think you have too many odds here. You might have some odd balls. <laughs> You might have some oddballs around you, but I don't think you have, uh, I, I mean, I just. <sighs> See, Sad, it's going to feel real serious right in here. And then when you get to the end of the week, it's going to be much more lighthearted. And I think that's what I'm feeling. It's almost a giggly feeling. <laughs> it's almost a giggling feeling, Sad. Whatever this was, um, and, and I'm not, and it's going to be hard at the time, but, but whatever it is, once you get through that fear and keep your calm and make these really good decisions and move forward in, a, in careful ways, uh, the sun, I mean, it's just, it's, it's the answer. It's the golden ticket. It's where you should be. It's, it's why you've done all this. It's going to bring the true healing. It's the true answer. Um, it's really the answer to bringing in all the health and well-being that you've been asking for, that you've been working for. Sag, I am going to move into the extended. In the extended, I am going to dig a, f a little bit deeper. I'm going to dig into these two tens, and I want to dig into the Knight of Pentacles to see if we have any more information coming out with the Knight of Pentacles. And then we're going to take this energy and move it forward to see how this continues to go. Uh, also, in the extended, we're going to pull some cards for money for the next three weeks, next three or four weeks, and we're going to pull some cards for love. So that is the uh, the goal for the extended. If you're interested in the extended, the link is in the video description box, um, as well as the personal reading, the store to the personal readings. Um, I, my, I have a lot of variety of readings. Uh, the cheapest one, I think, is $20. And it goes all the way up for the in-depth one. The in-depth readings are, are in-depth and they're more expensive, but the cheapest one is 20. And I think it goes all the way up to 180 or something like that. All right, my friends, thank you very much for being here. Uh, I look forward to the extended, especially with this sun here. That's quite beautiful, Sag. And then um, I look forward to reading for you guys again um, for, for out for YouTube, out for YouTube. I've got it out for you too. I look forward to, to connecting in with Sagittarius Energy next week for another weekly reading for Sag. All right, Sag, I'm moving to the extended now. Um, and so those of you that are, are interested, I'll see you over there. And for the rest of you, I'll see you back on YouTube next week with another reading. Thanks, Sag.